In this video I want to show you how to create a loft in FreeCAD with part design. We are using version 13.5.1.9 which was shortly after FreeCAD 017 was released. We're going to use part design as the workbench. I will work in gesture mouse mode and first is we create a new sketch on a new body. We start with creating an arc. Simply starting from the center, giving it an arbitrary angle. We will create a line. We directly use automatic constraining. We make that line horizontal and we switch to creating another line which we're going to use to create a construction that will constrain this center line below to be in a, defini in a definition of an angle. I gave it 130 degrees and we give it a fixed length with horizontal distance and we see that sketch is now done. We give it a name, call it lower plane Then we create a second sketch again on the XY plane. Create another arc. This time this arc will be smaller. We use a similar construction, two lines that define the angle. Then the baseline constrained to horizontally. Again equal length for the construction helplines and again we give it an angle this time 160 degrees. And we give it a length. So we want to look at this from a view in space, from the axonometric view. We name it again to upper plane, which uh, shows us where we're going to end up. The smaller piece is at the top. There's two possibilities or even more to put this somewhere in space because if we want to create a loft it got to be somewhere on a different plane. So we can move it up with the attachment values of the sketch. This is the classic mode for those people who come from 016 you will be accustomed to use similar 
ways of moving sketches somewhere in the 3D space. Then we select the lower plane, click to add a additive loft. I selected the second plane and that's all you need. So mainly you have to have two shapes on a different Z plane. I just save it at this moment on a different C plane and you select the first one, you start additive loft, then you select the second, third, fourth one, and you're done. So the next step is, I deleted the loft, and I move back the upper plane sketch to Z0, so we go back in time. The next is we reorientate this sketch, the part design reorient sketch. We tell it to move it away from the face where it is orientated to and then we just cancel. We do not orientate, we, we do not assign it to a plane yet. Click on F5 to recalculate the model. Now we want to switch on the lower plane again and switch off the upper plane. Then we will select both the line and the arc of the lower sketch create a datum plane and this datum plane we will now move up in space towards the set direction fifty millimeters in direction Z. Click OK. We select the datum plane. We click on map sketch to face. We select the upper plane. Click OK. And we move it flat face. Sorry, we can't see it here because that uh, little icon is over it. The problem that we have is the sketch is 90 degrees rotated against the previous axis. So to have both lines in parallel, again, I had to rotate the datum plane. So another additive loft, adding section, taking the upper section, and it looks similar to what it was before. So now we can play a little bit with our datum plane. For instance, we could give it another rotation, or we give it a roll. So let's rotate it to zero again and it will be twisted. Now this twist is a little bit much, doesn't look nice. We change to 60.
and that looks more real. A bit more fun. We move it back to 90. And now we give it a roll of 10 degrees. Click OK. And we can see it's now slanted also. So using datum planes you can easily change where your orientation is in space compared to the num numeric way of changing the attachments which is not very modern. Especially in the attachment offset here you can use values from a table or from a master sketch easily. So I'm playing on with values. So that's it. Nothing more. Thanks for watching and have fun with FreeCAD.